Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Usbah, professor of obstetrics and the gynecology faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. Today, I want to discuss with you some MCQ question in gynecology. Okay. Let us start our journey. Please choose the one best response. And as I said before, there may be more than one answer, but you are choosing the one best response. Okay. Okay, the first question, as we said before, the upper part of the statement is the stem and the choices are called distractors and you are choosing the best one response. Let us start with the first question, the uterine artery is, the, is a main branch of which of the following arteries? If you know, before you read the distractor, the answer, and I want, I want you to do this in any MSQ, to cover the distractor, then read the stem. If you find the answer in your mind, then you lock to the distractor and you find it, it is one of them, choose it. Don't hesitate. Choose it immediately. Because 99% it is the right answer. Okay. So, the uterine artery is the main branch of which of the following arteries? Aorta, common iliac artery, external iliac artery, internal iliac artery. We know that uterine artery is a branch of internal iliac artery. So, the right answer is internal iliac artery. Okay. Okay, let us go to the next question. The ovarian artery is the main branch of which of the following arteries? External iliac artery, internal iliac artery, aorta, common iliac artery. We know that ovarian artery coming from aorta. So the right answer will be aorta. Okay. Let us go to the next question. The left ovarian vein empties into which of the following veins? Renal vein, inferior vena cava, internal iliac vein, and external iliac vein. The right answer is left renal vein. Yes. So, Renal vein is the right answer in this question. Okay, let us go to the next. The right ovarian vein empties into which of the following veins? Don't think that this is a repeated question. It is not a repeated question. Because left is different than right in the ovarian vein. Okay? Okay. So, the right ovarian vein empties in which of the following veins? Renal vein, inferior vena cava, internal iliac vein, external iliac vein. Right ovarian vein is different than left ovarian vein. Right ovarian vein empties into inferior vena cava. Okay? While left ovarian vein, as in the previous question, empties into the re left renal vein. So, right directly to the inferior vena cava. So, the right answer will be the inferior vena cava. Okay. Let us go to the next question. From which embryonic structure does the vestibule arise? Genital ridge, mesonephric ducts, mullerian ducts, Urogenital sinus. So the vestibule embryologically drive it from the urogenital sinus. As we know, the urogenital sinus give the lower part, lowermost part of the vagina and the vestibule. So the right answer is urogenital sinus. From which 
embryonic structure that does the upper vagina arise mesonephric duct urogenital sinus mullerian ducts genital ridge we know that the upper vagina and the uterus and fallopian tubes coming from mullerian ducts so the right answer is mullerian ducts okay let us go to the next question a locally invasive vaginal cancer in the lower third of the patient's vagina okay which of the following lymph nodes would be primary involved here you should know the lymphatic drainage of the vagina what about the lower third the drainage of the lower third is simulating that of the external genitalia of the vulva okay so what is the answer of this question again a locally invasive vaginal cancer in the lower third of the patient's vagina which of the following lymph nodes would be primarily involved okay inguinal lymph nodes aortic sacral internal iliac lymph nodes we are talking about the lower vagina so as i said before the same as external genitalia so inguinal will be primarily involved so the right answer is inguinal lymph nodes okay okay next question what is the estimated number of oocytes present at puberty 50,000 to 100,000, 200,000 up to 400,000, 800,000 up to 1 million, 2 million to 5 million. What is the, the best one response? Okay, in this question, you should think about the number of all sides at puberty not at birth so not to be confused at puberty the the number of oocytes decreasing the largest number which is considered millions maybe six millions at seven months during embryological development okay decrease markedly after birth and decrease again at puberty reaching 200 to 400 thousand okay on the average 300,000 is a right okay so I will choose from 200,000 up to 400,000 this is the right answer okay so let us go to the next question the granulosa cell aromatase enzymes allows conversion of androstenedione to which of the following? Estradiol, dehydroibandrosterone, 17 hydroxyprogesterone, and progesterone. What is the best one response? The best one response here, estradiol. Why estradiol? Because we know that aromatase inhibitor convert the androstene dione to estradiol. That's why we are using aromatase inhibitor in some of hyperesterogenic disease to antagonize the effect of estrogen and the decreasing the estrogen. Okay, so we are using aromatase inhibitor to inhibit aromatase enzyme because aromatase enzyme in granulosa cell change or convert androstene dione to estradiol okay so this is the right answer let us go to the next question LH levels typically peak approximately how many hours period to ovulation 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, 
96 hours. Okay, so the right answer is 24 hours. And take care about this question. We are talking about how many hours from the peak of LH, not the starting of the of elevation of LH. Because if we think about the starting of the LH peak, it starts 36 hours before ovulation. So you may be confused between 24 hours and the 48 hours, right? But here we are talking about the peak, the most top point for LH surge, okay? From this point to the ovulation, it is 24 hours. So I'll choose 24 hours, and this is the right answer as you see. Next question. Which of the following is the most potent of, of the naturally occurring estrogens? Estriol, estrone, estradiol, esenile, estradiol. What about all these distractors? All of them is natural? The answer is no. Because esenile, estradiol is a synthetic estrogen, so excluded okay let us think about the three estriol estrone and the estradiol the most potent one and the predominant one is estradiol so the right answer is estradiol another question an interior seal is Characterized by which of the following statements? It is a herniation of the rectal and the vaginal wall into the vagina. It is herniation of the bladder floor into the vagina. It is a prolapse of the uterus and the vaginal wall outside the body. It is a, the protrusion of the cul-de-sac and the vaginal wall in the, into the vagina. Which is the right, the, the best response answer? Okay. So, let us think about it. It is herniation of rectal and vaginal wall into the vagina. This is rectal seal. This is not interior seal. So, A is excluded. What about B? It is herniation of the bladder floor into the vagina. Herniation of the bladder through the vaginal wall with the anterior vaginal wall is called cystocele. It is not intuitive. Okay. It is a prolapse of the uterus and the vaginal wall outside the, the body, like cystocele or rectocele and, and the second degree uterine descent or third degree uterine descent. Okay. It is not the anterior seal. Uh, the last one, the last choice is it is a protrusion of the cul de sac and the vaginal wall into the vagina. Yes, this is the right one. This is the best one response. It is a protrusion of the cul de sac and the vaginal wall in the vagina, into the vagina, and the may this sac may contain also loops of intestine. Okay, so the right answer is D. It is a protrusion of cul de sac and the vaginal wall into the vagina. Thank you. I'm Dr. Alam Sbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University.